the police force, helping keep our community safe. In our last half hour of Wake Up, we told you about the role canine officers play, uh, the crucial role they play for the Erie County Sheriff's Office. And we're introducing you to another canine officer this morning, and we're putting him to the test. Teresa is in the newsroom this morning. Can't wait to see what you guys ha have planned for the canine. Well, we have Heiko down here with, uh, with Deputy Brad Valentine and also Scott from the Erie County Sheriff's Department. Uh, in our last half hour, we had Billy, who is kind of a more cuddly, friendly canine officer. Heiko is trained to be a little more aggressive, correct? Correct, yes. Uh, Heiko is trained for, in addition to detecting narcotics, handler protection, tracking, apprehension. So. He's, and they can't even be in the same room, right? Uh, no, they're all, uh, all these dogs are alpha dogs mm -hmm. um, by nature, so they all want, when there's another dog around, they all want to be the top dog. So. That's a term I understand, okay, alpha so dogs. that makes sense. That's why we, we don't want them kind of around each other. Um, he is obviously listens very well. They have to, right? I heard you say earlier, if a canine doesn't do well in training, they get kicked out, right? Yeah, they have to, uh, they have to be on all the time. They don't get... Uh, they don't get to have off days or days where they don't get to listen. They have to be on all the time. And there's money in the budget for five more of these dogs. That's what that's what you told me earlier. What are your plans there? Yes, uh, we're looking to put more canine units out on the road and also into the jail, uh, more specifically towards uh, narcotic detection. And the good thing is that we're looking at uh, funds that aren't taxpayer dollars. Uh, to pay for all of Yeah, that. actually Great. it's seized assets from drug dealers. So it's Perfect. kind of ironic. It kind of makes sense. Well, we'll, we'll be following up with you on that. But right now, now, um, we hit some things, one thing in particular for Hago to find. So, Brad, explain real quick how he's going to do it, and then we'll have 30 seconds for him to find it. Without getting into the whole background of it, basically he thinks he's going to be looking for this toy, but what he's actually going to be looking for is one form of illegal narcotic, either marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamines, or heroin, which he's all certified to detect. Drugs in the newsroom. Okay, let's find it. Where's it? As you can see, he this has positive indication, positive right? indication here for a... Uh, sits or lays down and stares at the source of the odor. If you can't hear De Deputy Ballantyne, he's saying he sits and stares, lays down at the source of the odor, gets his toy as a reward in the end. So we thank Deputy Ballantyne and Heiko for doing so well for us this morning as well as Scott all with the Erie County Sheriff's Department. This has been a fun little exercise. Really neat to see what goes into training these dogs and see what they can do. So Jordan... Can't ask for more than that here. Uh, appreciate Deputy Valentine being here. We'll send it back to you. We're going to post this for you online. If you want to see that again, see Heiko in action. We'll have uh, both of the segments that we had this morning on WIVB.com. He moves fast. He did. He went fast. Thank you, Teresa, for that. Straight ahead this morning.